Hello and welcome to today's session about VMware Application Directory 6.0. Today we are going to deploy a predefined application. My name is Matthias Eisner. I'm working as Director for Cloud Management in the Com Division Group. First of all, we need to log in to our application director. Therefore, we open a browser, create a new tab, provide the URL for application director, accept the security certificate and provide username and password. Hit the login button and now we're logged in into application director. We're going to choose that we're not storing the password in a browser. First of all, we're going to take a look at our operating systems. We see a couple of Linux distributions and of course Windows as well. But first of all, we need to create something which is called a logical template. A logical template is a mapping of a specific operating system. In our case, we're going to select a CentOS 6.3 32-bits and we are mapping that specific OS version to, a, to an actual template or a virtual machine or a machine which is provided by our deployment infrastructure. In our case, it's VCAC. So we just enter the logical template by clicking the title bar, select edit, and now we're creating a new cloud template mapping by clicking new. And now we select our cloud provider, which is VCAC, which we configured in a previous step. And then we select our cloud template. And of course, at the end, we're going to hit the save button. That's how we're going to save the whole story. Back on our main application page, we are going to select the application we want to deploy. It's JPET Store in our case. So we enter the application by clicking the title bar. We see different application versions. In our case, we just have one, which is 1.0.0. You can create different application versions which can be deployed independent of each other. First of all, we take a look at the application blueprint. We see the application consists of a virtual machine. It's a CentOS 32 bits, version 6.3, a SQL Fire server, and a vFabric TC server. That is the application in our case. First of all, we need to add a new deployment environment that defines some variables around the application can be used later on. We provide a name and hit the deploy button. Now we are going to review the deployment environment. We are taking a closer look at the map details. We see the node name and also the logical template which is used within application director and we see the map cloud template. We created that mapping a couple of minutes ago. Hit next. We can we can review the application properties. In our case, we reconfigure the virtual machine to use only one gigabyte of memory. So you have some values and can reconfigure the virtual machine. The third step is the execution plan. It's a graphical representation of the whole deployment process. First of all, we deploy the machine, customize the machine, then we install the application. Fourth step is the review, and then actually hit the deploy button. Now the application deployment will be scheduled and now we see that the deployment has been scheduled and it starts within a couple of seconds or a minute. You see the overview page of your current deployment. We have the details on the upper left pane see the blueprint details are available after the uh, uh, a successful deployment and we have the execution plan we just hit the refresh button now we see that deployment is already in progress and now we expand the execution plan pane you can use this pane to monitor your application deployment we see the first task is provisioning the provisioning task is actually deploying, in our case, a new virtual machine using VCAC. And then we have the, the bootstrap agent to actually reconfigure the OS and stuff like that. During the provisioning process, we 
can switch to our vSphere web client. We just logged in into vSphere web client and go to the VMs and templates view. There we can see a virtual machine which has already been created by VCAC, which is called JPATST dash some random name. So we see that AppD called VCAC and VCAC just created that virtual machine for us. After a short amount of time, we see that the virtual machine is powered on. Here we go. We select the virtual machine, launch the console. We see the OS has already booted and the VM got an IP address. Right now, we're going to switch back to application directory in the provisioning pane. We see that the node setup has completed. Next step is the bootstrap agent, which is responsible for customizing the operating system from an application directory perspective. And after the OS has been customized, application director and its agents start to actually install the applications. We can see that application director already installed the SQL server and is now installing the vFabric TC server. After the installation of the vFabric TC, application director is going to customize or configure the TC server installation and at the end it is going to install the JPAD store application what is happening right now. After the successful installation we need to get the information where is or which IP address did our virtual machine actually got from application director. I know we have seen the IP address already using the vSphere web client going to the virtual machine, but that's not the ideal way from a from an application direct perspective. So the deployment was successful. We deployed a predefined application right from application director. Next step is we're going to minimize the execution plan pane and actually navigate to the VM details pane, which is on the lower right corner of the window. So we minimize the execution plan and we see the VM details. We see the IP address of our virtual machine. So we need to test if everything is correct. We open a new tab, navigate to the IP address. We know that the application is deployed on port 8080 and we need to provide the correct URL to actually access our newly deployed, deployed pet store. Here we go. That is the application. We are able to enter the store. We see a couple of pets. This concludes the demonstration how to deploy a predefined application in application director.